Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video here on a new tool that came out. It came out a couple days ago, I think, but version one came out very recently. So this is a new tool by one of my buddies, XNL Hacker. I've done work with him before. He helped us out with uh, a Susprams project that Jason Haddix and I did at DEF CON. He has a whole bunch of interesting tools, so go check out his whole GitHub. I will put it in the description below. He's got way more tools than this, but this is the newest one. This one came, I believe, from the most recent episode of the Critical Thinking Podcast. They kind of talked about this type of stuff and that they put in an extension and that kind of thing. And now he built it for the rest of us, so we don't have to. So that's a super amazing thing. It's called XNL Reveal. And I'm just going to use a few examples to kind of show you what it does so you can see exactly why it might be interesting for you to use. It's very easy. It's an extension. You can put it right in your Chrome browser or Firefox browser, either one and use it as you're going through an engagement on either bug bounty hunting or pen testing. So here's the GitHub page. Again, the install is very easy for Chrome right here, Firefox right here, and then it explains how to use it, the options page, all that kind of stuff, right? So I'm just gonna show some really basic stuff on the screen here and kind of show you an example of why it might be interesting and then that's going to be the video i just want to put something out here quick so you guys can see it see why it might be interesting and then any questions you can either ask me or more importantly maybe just ask him i'll put his twitter and github down there and you can ask away but i don't know if anyone saw this but there was a halloween challenge from bug bug crowd for this and you have to get in it says creepy clown denies you access. Yeah, you can type something here if you want to. The submit button, you can't even click it. There's nothing here. You can fuzz around. You can do whatever you want to do, right? So I already download, downloaded the extension. It's up here. And this is what it looks like. So you can enable reveal here. And then you have your options. So in the screen here that I have, there's four options. The first option here is show query parameter reflection alerts. This one is writing wayback endpoints to the console. This third one here is show hidden elements. And then the fourth one is enable disabled elements. So something interesting that you can do is you can click this and there it is. So there's the first thing here is as you can see, let me zoom in here, right? So as you can see, I already found something by finding hidden objects. I already found something called CAPTCHA that's hidden and I can change it, right? Now, we don't know what this does yet. It doesn't do anything, but this is something, so maybe later, so this CAPTCHA, you could probably assume, is probably having something to do with the submit thing too, so maybe play around with this, maybe look for it in source code, all that kind of stuff. Now, that doesn't do much for us here, right? But the other thing that it does is it will enable disabled elements, right? So when we check this, now it says disabled submit button, smile. So here now is an actual submit button. And there you go. That's literally how easy the challenge is. It's that simple. I was able to beat this challenge in like two seconds. Again, I'm, I'm sure you can just read the source code and check the post request and send the post request and probably do some stuff in burp that will run it or whatever. Or you can just undisable the submit button, press submit and it'll send the request. So here you see the spooky bug crowd Z Wink says creepy clowns impressed secret password is creepy clown. So I'm gonna guess if I go here, do this and put this in here maybe where I can type and then re-hit the submit button and you get a code and you get a little win and everybody's happy. Now again, I'm putting this out late because I'm pretty sure this challenge only went from Halloween until like 8 p.m. So it's not that big of a deal. But this is just an example of how you might happen to score some easy wins by either finding hidden fields, not just text fields, it could be a lot of different hidden fields, but not just hidden fields, but disabled elements and all that kind of stuff too that you're gonna to wanna to see. And that might do something or change requests or that you can edit before you change the request, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so the other thing that it can do is if you go here to something like, let's just say tesla.com because they have a program and I'll go over here to more tools, developer tools, and now we have the console, right? So we can go here, back to the thing, and again, this one right here that says write wayback elements to console, I can click on, and then I can reload the page, and it says here that I already checked it, but if I hadn't checked it, it would check it for me and give me, give me a list of domains. So what that will do is basically take 
anything just like when you would use, you know, Waymore or Gao or anything like that. It will do that same thing, but it will just print those domains directly to your console for you. Okay, and if obviously if you've already checked it, it will say that it has already checked it that way. If you're reloading pages and stuff, it's not just like spamming in the background. So that's really nice. So the other thing that it does is that it will show query parameters that reflect. So that's pretty basic. I'm not even sure I'm gonna demo it just because it's pretty straightforward. All it's doing is basically when you put queries into the request, it's gonna look in the response and see if those were reflected anywhere. And if it does, it'll pop up an alert window for you. It's very basic. So if you go do like a reflected cross-site scripting exercise or something, and you look and you just check, you can just test with the reflection and you'll see what I mean. It'll pop up an alert that says, hey, this parameter is reflected in the response. That doesn't mean you instantly have a cross-site scripting or anything like that, but it's a very good start that you are injecting something into the web page and that you might be able to inject something malicious into the web page. So this is gonna be it guys. It's gonna be a really short video. I just wanted to show the tool, get the tool out there to anyone who for some reason may be in my audience and not in his. If you're not, follow the GitHub, follow the Twitter, check out all the tools because all the tools are great. XNL Link Finder, way more, XNL Reveal, Knock XNL I think is another one that uses Knock XSS, all that type of stuff. Check them all out on the GitHub. But that's all for this one. 